All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're putting 22 fives that are now 22s on the dually. They're Alcoa's. Pretty much pulled them out of a junkyard, brought them back to life, and uh, yeah, we're gonna change the look of my truck up pretty quick here. So uh, follow along, this is gonna be fun. Hey guys, it's about 6.30 in the morning. I've got these wheels in the back of my truck. I'm fixing to run up in Knoxville and the guys are, uh, I got a guy that's gonna do, he's gonna mill the wheels down so they're a 22 inch. Um, I'm not awake, I need more coffee and I need to get these to Knoxville so that they can get them milled. Then once he gets that done, I'm gonna run them down to Peter and get him to polish them. Um, yeah, I don't know, and I'm getting fuel, see, getting the fuel. But I'm gonna show you guys how to put 22.5 semi wheels on a regular dually uh, and run a passenger car start a non-commercial tire on it um, I didn't want to run the big tires on this thing because they're the stiffer sidewalls and stuff I won't ride that good and with a non-commercial tire uh, I can get a smaller tire on it and not such stiff sidewall and hopefully it'll still ride fairly good I already know with these it's probably gonna affect the ride a little bit but uh, trying to minimize that as much as possible so you can see the wheels are uh, I mean I got a really good deal on them so you know they're a little dirty but after we get done milling them and I'll show you guys when we get up there uh, one that's done and one that's not done so you can kind of see what happens to make this work to put a, uh, a non-commercial tire on these a regular 22 inch tire and uh, then I'm gonna drop them off to Peter at almost chrome He's gonna get these things looking all good and dialed in. And then, uh, yeah, I don't know, get this thing fueled up and put some new wheels on it. Tim to kind of show you guys what makes a difference on why you milled this wheel down so you can fit a, you know, non-commercial tire on it. If you'll see down the edge there, you got a nice kind of flat edge here, comes over. That's how all your non-commercial wheels are usually gonna be. And over here, this side hasn't been cut yet, and you'll see this is all rounded. Um, and, you know, this obviously is a whole lot bigger than this is now. So you can really kind of look down there, you can really see the difference in it. So basically, just took this edge right here and brought this down a little bit, uh, and then this edge over and uh, tire fit on it now. So I'll be able to run a tw regular 22 inch tire instead of a 22.5. Polishing on some wheels. These things would not look good when I brought them over here. And if I learned one thing from, if y'all saw the, the tank video, I went to polish the tank. Leave this stuff to the professionals, they're way better at it. Dude, those look great. Those are just your inner drives. These wheels are, I, I hope, they're gonna look pretty cool in the Dodge. What do you think? I think they'll look good on the Dodge. I hope so. I, I mean, I like that look on a dually, so, you know. So hanging out here a little bit late with Pete, and well, you can see while he is the best polisher, because that's my wheel that's gonna go on the truck. That's basically what he started with. Uh, that thing looks like poo and that one looks awesome so pretty excited to get these on the truck and uh yeah thanks for being really good at it no problem man what do you think tommy i think it looks great looks really great although the one that's old kind of looks more like something you would rock so i'm, I'm glad wow here. I'm glad what are you trying rocks. to say that i would drive around on a wheel that looks like <laughs> that, that one <laughs> it, no oh. Uh, I, I got a, a wheel to polish. I'm gonna go back like, to work. I'm getting, I'm getting out of the middle of this. <laughs> I'm not in this. Thanks for lunch, Tommy. I'm gonna go polish now. <laughs> See you, bye. <laughs> oh man, but yeah. So there you guys go. There's the best example of like a before and after I've ever seen. Today is the day taking these wheels off the truck, putting the Alcoa 22s on there. Y'all just wait, fix the pull this thing in the shop, 
or swap the wheels out. This thing's gonna look like a completely different truck when it's done. I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, I've been driving this thing around for a year like this, and uh, I mean, it looks good, but it's gonna look way better with some uh, some new wheels for sure. So I don't know, I'm gonna quit talking about it and I'm gonna pull it in. see we got three of these dudes mounted right now yes those two plus this one still have to do the tires go on really easy um, there's no issues they're not like having to stretch out all crazy to go around it or anything like that so it's really nice the way they cut these wheels I'll show you again just to reiterate the fact on this you can't use a stock semi wheel 22.5 because you won't have this lip like cut down like this one is so yeah you see here it's got a straight edge on it and that's a key part on making the regular 20 inch tires fit on these correctly so uh, the guy that cut these wheels did a really awesome job because there's no fighting these wheels to put them on here's your adapters which we're gonna paint these so as soon as I get the tires mounted up I'm gonna go put some put these on a piece of cardboard I'm gonna paint them black uh, just because you can kind of see they're just they're just raw steel right now um, so it won't take it long and these things will be super rusty then it'll rust right around here where the the wheel sits around this dude and it'll make it even harder to like get the wheels off of these later on down the road so hopefully what we're we're hoping to do here is that by painting them at least prolongs the life of uh, these dudes and they don't get all rusty and the wheels when you go to take them off will come off real easy but your stock stock lugs go through here and you'll run uh, open-ended lug nut here holds this whole plate on and then you bolt the wheel up to this adapter and voila you have semi wheels on your dually so yeah, I'm gonna finish mounting these dudes up real quick and then we'll balance them and, uh, and we'll get them, on the, uh, get them on the truck. All right, there they are all mounted up. Look pretty cool. So these are Nitto 420 Vs. It's a uh, 285, 45, 22. Bunch of guys running them on dualies, so we'll see how they do. gonna be pretty cool all right so there it is these guys have got like two and a half maybe three coats of paint on them hopefully that helps them last a little bit longer this is your front these guys that's your rear you can kind of tell the difference between the front and the rear so the rears this lip here is a little bit taller to line up two wheels where the fronts just have a smaller lip for the one wheel um, yeah so I'm gonna start with this guy put it on the front over here all right the adapters are on you can see right here that's your stock lug pattern for the Dodge and out here is the lug pattern for the 22.5 Alcoa's There it is. Man, this truck has completely changed. 
just what it looked like before what it looks like now I really like it I uh, got no complaints out of this whatsoever the wheels actually fit pretty well on the front side it's pretty good <clears throat> you guys can tell they don't they don't come out from the fenders very much the back's a little bit different story they definitely they're out of the fenders about two and a half three inches but I don't know from the backside this way it really doesn't look bad I ended up going with front wheel covers on the back because the axle doesn't stick out that far and it really kind of gives you a makes it seem like it's got a real big lip on the wheel I don't know if a lot of people do that or not, but I thought it was kind of cool, a little bit different. It's kind of cool. It's like a whole different truck now. Another thing, I was really concerned about how this thing was gonna ride. Some people had told me they was gonna ride pretty bad with these wheels and tires set up on it. Um, I just drove it down the highway, up and down some city streets and everything else. I don't think they ride bad at all. Uh, all the way up to 80 miles an hour, the truck's super smooth. The tires are big enough, they soak up the little bumps and stuff in the road. And um, the tires that were on this truck before were pretty wore out, so they rode terrible anyway. Um, so this is like a hundred times better than what it was with the old tires. I'm also running less air pressure, so that probably helps also because like the rears have got 50 pounds, or I'm sorry, rear has 45 pounds in each tire, fronts have 50 pounds, uh, where the old tires, you know, those run like 75. So, um, that probably also helps with the, with the ride in it, but man pretty pretty freaking cool i like it a lot it's like a whole new truck to me all right guys that is it i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember like subscribe follow us and all that good stuff uh special thanks to the guys at rlc i couldn't have done all this without you know them with their help uh obviously boz helped me get these tires mounted and um and they helped me a little bit with getting them on and all that stuff but just even giving the shop space and ordering the tires for me and um they have a youtube channel too so if you guys like you know diesel trucks and off-road stuff and jeeps you should go follow them uh in the description below i'll have a link to that but uh that's it i'm gonna go drive this thing around now it's like a whole new truck so it's gonna be a lot of fun that harley was pretty loud and remember like no way first you gotta follow us subscribe to the channel then you like the video and then watch all the other videos and like those too and jump on instagram follow us there at semi casual show and uh next video is coming up you're gonna like it so stay tuned or stay on the internet and watch more stuff see you guys